travel vlog that we're gonna make together and it's a beautiful fall day. Today's activities are pretty much all the high points of Vermont. We are literally gonna be from the south end up to Burlington. We're gonna get maple creamies. We're gonna get apple cider donuts. We're gonna go on a sugar bush walk. Just all the good stuff and peep the leaves as we go. It is mid-October here in Vermont and it's well past high point for leaf peeping but that's okay there's still some good ones hanging around. Let's hit it because we're running late. <laughs> You breakfast, fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and of fun. Growing up is just a trap. made it to the town of Norwich, Vermont, and we're here at the Blue Sparrow Cafe, and it is beautiful. Everything I thought Vermont would be this time of year in the fall. We got a cappuccino, I think Ashley got a chai latte, both are delicious. And check out this scone. It's a maple blueberry scone, and it looks delicious. Mm-hmm, that maple. You smell it in the air here with all the maple trees, and then to have it on your food, a plus. Okay, it started to sprinkle on us a little bit, so I'll try to make this brief. I think we're gonna try and head over to the Norwich uh, Farmer's Market. Farmer's Markets are a big deal here in Vermont. They're very proud of them. In fact, you'll see farm stands along the road all over the state as you drive around. So we're gonna go see how that's looking. You know, COVID times, it might be closed. We're gonna check that out. If the rain stops, we're gonna head on to a sugar bush farm. Here, let's go. It looks like the place to be it is definitely on despite COVID. So we're gonna mask up and take a walk around. Let's go. Got it. by an apple cider stand and this one is Riverview Farm from Plainfield, New Hampshire. We're just on the New Hampshire border and then we got a couple of apples. I got Northern Spy and Cortland. A couple kinds of apples that I've never tried before so I thought wait, those would make good car snacks so let's keep looking around. Hello. Can I get three of the uh, sweet potatoes please? Should have brought our bag. Handful of sweet potatoes, apple cider, beautiful apples. I'd say it's a successful trip to the uh, local market here. Let's head out to the next place. I realized 
last time you love Ooh, yeah, real last time you love We just arrived to the maple farm. This place is called the Sugar Bush. It's a maple tree farm. They have maple syrup for sale and some local cheese for sale. We're gonna go inside, check it out, and then we're gonna hit the trail to go walk through the maple tree farm. I gotta put my mask back on. Dark. Thank you. How many are blue? This is my favorite. The dark one. Oh, very yeah. manfully. A little thicker even They're maybe? actually, well, they're no, about, they're about the, same. the same. It's Definitely. that complexity of the yeah. sugars that trick your brain a little bit. That's the tail end. Very dark yes. strong. It's delicious. It was a whirlwind in there. Sorry we couldn't catch you up. Like the tour started as soon as we walked in, but we went through and tried all the cheeses they offer and then tried all the different kinds of maple syrup that they offer going from lightest to darkest, and they gave us a quick rundown of how it works. It was delicious, as you might expect, and now we're gonna pick out a couple and then go do the sugar bush walk. That was fun. We ended up getting the dark, the grade A. Can't wait to try this, it's so good. So we found out that basically it takes like 40 gallons of the syrup from the tree to make one gallon of the actual maple syrup that you'll end up eating. All right, we're gonna go walk through the sugar bush now. Let's go. I think maple season's in like, January, February, isn't it? He said it's about four weeks long. The longer the season goes on and the colder it is, is how you get darker syrup. In the early part of the season, when it's not as cold, you get the lightest golden syrup. And then as you go, it gets darker and darker and they don't, they're not doing anything different as far as cooking it. It all is processed the same. It's just time and temperature that changes the taste. Pretty cool. If you notice all these tubes on the trees, those are actually the tubes that carry the syrup from the tree down to the buckets. Back in the day before, I guess they used the tubes and it invented that, you had to tap them, put buckets under there, and you had to carry the buckets probably in the snow, downhill and uphill, which is a bit of a challenge. So what they do now is they tap the trees every year and they hook these lines up and basically it just runs the syrup down to the buckets wherever you need it to go. So it's far less labor intensive and makes for a more efficient and effective process. So that's what the tubes are if you're in the sugar bush and you're wondering. farm maple farm was very cute i think you could do it really quickly if you wanted to or kind of linger there's plenty of space and kids would really like it particularly if they're old enough to kind of get the idea but anyway now it's time to hop in the car we have a really long drive we are going to head on the famous route 100 and see all the covered bridges and as much foliage as we can see all the way up to northern vermont let's hit it driving down Route 100 and all of a sudden I see a waterfall and I'm like, look, look, look. And then I realize there's a place to pull over and everybody on the road is pulling over. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna go take a peek at it. Well, this is a great stop for us because it's been raining the whole time that we've been on Route 100. It stopped for a short time. We'll get to get out in nature a little bit, check out a waterfall, and then we'll keep heading north on Route 100. That was a fun, very quick stop. It's literally right off the highway. Cars go by as you're looking. We're gonna hop back on the road and find some lunch before we head up to Cold Hollow Cider Mill later.
part gift shop, part tasting room, and they do all things apples, apple cider, apple crumble, and best of all, apple cider donuts, which is what I am here for. So let's go find those. Welcome to our socially distanced apple cider picnic in the back of our car. It was quite busy in there, so we decided to get a little space and kind of enjoy our cider and donuts in the parking lot. So we're here at Cold Hollow Cider Mill. It's a huge destination and there's tons of people here like in off season during a pandemic. So I can't imagine what it's like in the summertime. I've got some hot apple cider. Jordan got some maple coffee, but most importantly, I got half a dozen apple cider donuts that are apparently legendary. So let's give them a try. Mmm, they're very good. They are not super duper sweet like a glazed donut or anything, but they're pretty thick and dense. I could see sitting down and eating several of these, whereas normally with a donut, they're so sugary sweet that like two's fine. Yeah, I'm a fan. Stop by, grab some donuts. They're 75 cents each. It's right off Route 100. I thought it was gonna be like a cake donut. Mm -hmm. It's not at all like a cake donut or a yeast donut. It's very like, it's like a pillow. Yeah, It's really fluffy. cool. What's mm -hmm. next, Judy? Excuse me. What's I don't... next, Jordan? <laughs> I'm not allowed to call you that on camera. I don't know what's next. Okay. We're gonna mm. keep driving and we're gonna go find a maple creamy. Yo. No creamies? In the window it said no creamies. No. Did you hear the news? <laughs> He's laughing at me. There's no creamies. <laughs> He's laughing at It's not a laughing matter. We it's drove a... well out of our way for maple creamies at this very specific place called Palmer Lane Maple because I read a person from Vermont said it's the best one, they're the best ones. We went all the way out of our way for it and we pull up to it and I see this little sign in the window that says, no creamies. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, we'll try to get them tomorrow because the host at our Airbnb said that there's a place down the road that has them and that he thinks those are the best. Try that tomorrow, and in the meantime, we're gonna go drown our sorrows because the next stop is a brewery. So, <laughs> well, let's go then. <laughs> you up we left you off with an absence of creamies and now it's dark so uh, the plan was to drive into Burlington which we did and to hit up a brewery or two come to find out everybody else wants to hit up a brewery on a Saturday night in Burlington and so without a reservation in COVID times we were out of luck so after we took a little stroll along the waterfront tried to find some breweries and finally we're hungry for dinner. We had dinner at Pizza 44, which was great, and it's attached to Queen City Brewery and across the street from Zero Gravity, both of which I've heard great things about and both of which were very busy. So that's where we're gonna leave you for the evening, but we'll see you in the morning because we have big plans for our second day in Vermont. Good morning. It 
is day two here in Vermont and we are starting it properly. We're here at Abracadabra Coffee, which is this really cool spot, only open on the weekends, I think Saturday and Sunday. Normally they have food trucks, but you know, COVID. Anyway, so we've got some really cool coffee drinks. I got one called the uh, Hottie Horchati, and it's like a horchata latte essentially. And Jordan got a really yummy espresso drink and we got donuts. They had a vegan apple cider donut. And then Jordan got a pumpkin maple glazed donut. So we're gonna sit by the river and enjoy these and kind of get our day started. And I think we're gonna go maybe take a small hike out to a waterfall later. So that's the plan. We'll see how it all goes, but I think we're starting it properly. I'm excited. These are like sugary on the outside which is what I had seen most pictures of apple cider donuts to look like. So yesterday when we went to um, Cold Hollow and they didn't have that, I was like, oh, maybe everybody does them different. So right off the bat, it's a lot squishier than the ones yesterday. Like maybe a little more dense, delicious. Even if you're not plant-based, you wouldn't miss it. These are great. And I love actually the sugar on the outside. It gives it a crunch. I really like it. I don't know if I told y'all in the past, but I grew up making donuts. My dad and my stepmother um, had a few donut shops where we grew up and I used to make them all the time. So I consider myself a donut expert, if you know what I mean. Look at this, that is so good. It's like a pumpkin bread donut and that maple glaze. Spot. We're here at Mont Vert or Mont Vert Cafe. It's like an all organic cafe. They have lots of plant based and veggie options, which is great. We've got a black bean burrito, a vegan butternut squash soup, and I got a smoky grilled cheese. Mm. I'm very good. It's thick, well seasoned. Tastes like um, Thanksgiving a little bit. Okay, all done with lunch. Everybody loved their food. We highly recommend. It's great ambiance, great eats. And now we're just gonna kind of take a lap around Woodstock before we hop in the car and head over to Texas Falls. So, let's go. Interesting. So we've come to <clears throat> the Woodstock Town Crier, or at least it used to be that. And now there's a sign on top of this that says Smiler, the Woodstock Smiler. Anyway, it's like a message board that is still used as that for the town. Which is just, you can't deny it. That's charming. That's some cute stuff. Apparently you need to find this bell somewhere in the town. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll be on the lookout. Installed in the belfry this church of this church dedicated to the glory of God in 1818. It called to worship the faithful in Jesus Christ for 156 years. That's fun. first because we wanted to make sure it didn't close. We are here at Silloway Maple for Maple Creamy. They look so good y'all. I'm so glad we came here. They're really good. Ooh, they're really good. That's good right? The creamy part oh they're not lying. Gosh. They're very very creamy. It is so creamy. different than soft serve although the same texture kind of. Ooh. And they traditionally come with some kind of dusting. So we both got maple cinnamon, but they had like maple coffee, regular maple. Anyway, so I have so apple crisp with a creamy on top and Jordan has just a creamy cone. They are so good. <laughs> it's delicious. Silhouette maple was actually recommended by our Airbnb host and I'm so glad that it was. It's much better vibe than the Sugarbush Farm, like it much is. better. So if you're looking for a maple farm to visit, Silhouette is the place. It's so quiet, so peaceful. It seems to be popular with locals, Yeah. which is always a good compliment. Mm. Highly recommend. The creamies were supposed to be kind of our treat at the end of the day after the waterfall, because there's a little bit of a hike to the waterfall, but 
we really didn't want it to close. No. So we're gonna finish these and then hop back in the car for our very last activity mm -hmm. here in Vermont. Yep. Okay, cheers. We just arrived to Texas Falls. We just parked. We're gonna head, see how close it is. We're in a bit of a hurry because the sun's about to go down. So hopefully we can catch it. Let's go see. That's it. Uh -uh. Yeah, on the bridge. It's right here next to the parking lot. We gotta walk over there on the bridge and then we'll get a good view of it. There's nobody here either. We're the only people. So let's we're go there. In a hurry. Which means we're not in a hurry. I can slow down. I think it's hard to like take it down a notch because I was so sure we were going to finally get to the waterfall and it would be pitch black. Somewhere we read that it was like an hour hike out and back, but it's right here. Maybe this observation site is new, but anyway, it's right off the highway. The waterfall's right here. Come on. Or maybe it's that the hike is after the falls. Probably. That's probably what it is. <laughs> Guys, Texas Falls was incredible. We had it all to ourselves. There was nobody else here. It is beautiful. It's a multi-layered fall. It is just so peaceful out here at sunset. And this is gonna wrap up our time in Vermont. We have loved every moment of it. Vermont was a place that has always been on my list, but I didn't really know what to expect about it. The colors did not disappoint in the fall. And the sweet treats, you guys, from the donuts to the maple creamies, Add those to your list, they were all delicious. And the towns were so beautiful, just the small New England towns, absolutely wonderful. This was just a wonderful kickoff to our North America series. I can't wait to see what the rest of New England has in store for us. Take a